Ladies and gentlemen, free agency for the NFL is starting. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do videos like it on every big major signing. But free agency has started. The new league year has started. But what we got today was even more crazy. You see, the NFL's TV rights they have been announced for the next ten years. That's right, 2023. All the way up to 2032. And it's going to be some insanity. Let's break it down. Because the NFL is getting a hundred billion around that number for five diff for five different partners. Well technically six, but five different partners for their TV deals. The the Revenue is going up, business is booming, the salary cap is going to be much, much larger now. And with a and with you know a ten billion a year TV deal, it's gonna be crazy. Gonna be some crazy stuff. The biggest thing we need to go over here is Amazon getting in the NFL game. Fifteen Thursday night football games, they will produce all of them. Of course, there will still be some on NFL Network, but Amazon Prime is in the NFL game. Crazy stuff. Now, those games will still be in you know local markets and stuff like that, but it, it's purely insanity. I did not think that that Amazon was going to get it, but then you know we found out last week, you know that Amazon was willing to pay more, and they are going to pay more. They got. They are paying like 1.3 billion for those 15 games, and I honestly don't like streaming services like that. I've been a proponent of that in the past. Streaming is the new cable, basically, and not everybody has the best in it. And you know, internet's come a long way, but sometimes it still isn't the best. I mean, look at AT and T. Look at, I mean, you have to pay way more to get the best internet, which is Verizon. You know. You know, Comcast, it's got, man, you know, you know, other internet services like Spectrum aren't, aren't that great, you know, so, and, you know, Amazon always had issues from people to where streams, you know, the official Amazon streams are kind of laggy, so that is going to be weird, I don't know how that's going to work for the bars and stuff like that, maybe, you know, maybe local bars could still do it on a Thursday night, but, you know, other than that, 2023, we're going to be a little bit different out here. Um, CBS retains their rights. ESP, uh, we'll talk about ESPN in a moment. Fox retains their rights. NBC retains theirs. You know, CBS with the AFC, most AFC games. Fox with the NFC, most NFC games. And NBC with Sunday Night Football. Those don't really change except for the fact that they did add some streaming services on now. So Paramount will, will be done with CBS. You know, Tubi will have some games on Fox. You know, Tubi will have, or rather, Fox will put some games exclusively on Tubi as well as having them over the air. And NBC will put some games on Peacock. So streaming services, you know, they have come in and they are doing things. ESPN, on the other hand, it gets a little bit interesting. ABC is back in the Super Bowl rotation, baby. That is what I like to see. What I don't like to see is that ESPN is still technically, you know, getting games. I think, you know, ESPN should have had the Thursday Night Football rights, and then ABC should have Monday Night Football. But you know, it is what it is. Um, I don't. I, I don't particularly like the fact that, that the ESPN ABC deal is going up from 17 to 23 games with three Monday night doubleheaders. I don't. I don't really agree with three Monday night doubleheaders. I mean, but you can. You can do some. You can do some flexing. You know. You, you know Monday night football can flex some games after week 12. Now that's pretty good, right? Pretty good. Yeah. It's pretty nice. Uh. Um, I believe there's also an ESPN Plus exclusive game from from one of the London games and um, a Saturday doubleheader on the last week of the season. I don't know how that's going to work, but we'll find it out. 
as it goes. But we're getting the 17 game schedule this year, boys. We are getting it, which is rather unfortunate because, I mean, who wants to play 17 games? I'd rather it be 18, but whatever. Whatever. We're getting that. So we were getting that 17 game schedule this year, whether we liked it or not. But this pretty much confirms it at this point. And uh, there's some other. There's some other details as well that are in there, and um, yeah, honestly, I think you know this is going to be an interesting, interesting time for the NFL. There's just a lot of things going on, you know, with these deals, and uh, you know, I mean, there's all sorts of different. There's all sorts of different, you know aspect going into it you know the salary caps going to be going up gambling could be you know a bigger thing now and it's going to be crazy um, again a hundred it over a hundred billion dollars for these TV rights I mean this is insanity this is insanity I mean, for the most part, I, I think, you know, it's it's pretty cool. You know, most of these deals were pretty cool, but I mean, the Amazon one was the one that I didn't really don't don't really care for. You know, yeah, might have a Cowboys game, you know, on Thursday Night Football, let's say, and it could be you know on our local you know CBS or Fox station or whatever. Uh, I don't remember which one it is or not, but. Some of this other stuff, you know, it's cool. It's cool, I guess. <sighs> Man. Crazy stuff. You know. But we are locked in for the next 10 years, boys. We are locked in for the next 10 years. So these deals are going to start in 2023. And, uh, yeah. Crazy stuff, man. Crazy stuff. I mean, the networks are paying a lot more. A lot more, and we are getting a lot more football as well, and it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be interesting. It's gonna be wild, and uh, man, I, I, I don't know what else to really to say. But yeah, free agency also still going on, and um, I'm not again. I'm not gonna make any videos really about it because there's so much going on. I would do it, you know, like I did last year with Cowboys and stuff like that because that's my team. But I don't feel like doing that this time around. So, yeah. Free agency is a thing that's happening and it's going crazy, but ugh, ooh, these deals, man. These deals are hitting like crazy. Well, I'll see you tomorrow, though, folks. Um, FCS football, we got to talk about that tomorrow. Um, early tomorrow as well. So see you then everybody